Hey guys, it's Bogey here, and I've got some more Titanfall gameplay for you because I absolutely love this game, and I cannot wait for it to come out. But, uh, anyways, uh, since I kind of self-declared myself as the number one source for Titanfall because I've been doing a lot on different Titanfall information, uh, there were some new things that I found out today, actually, and I wanted to talk about. So, first off, Titanfall released that their beta test attracted 2 million players on Xbox One and PC. And to me, that's just incredible. Like, I mean, that's a huge beta. And they were able to support it for most of the time. I think it only went down, like, once. And that that's, that's a really good thing. That means this hopefully will have a very, very smooth launch for a video game. Uh, which is something Call of Duty's never really done too good at, and I'm hoping someone in the business... Be, maybe being Respawn Entertainment finally has like a perfectly smooth launch for a video game because that would be really incredible uh, but anyways there's been a lot of rumors going around about Titanfall uh, only running at 720p on the Xbox One and I want to go through what uh, Respawn has said and the fact that that is not true so Respawn has officially said that it will not run at 720p on the Xbox One. It will be higher than that. Um, the beta was 792p or something like that, which to me, big whoop, 70 pixels, I don't really care. But uh, they said that they are aiming for 900p at launch of the game, so on March 11th. And um, what they're waiting for right now are these two patches from Microsoft for the Xbox One. There was one in February, there's one now, and there's going to be, I think, more after the launch of Titanfall. And I think they're waiting for these ones to get the game to 900p, and then the two after, I think, I believe, there's going to be two after the launch of the game that is going to allow the developers of Titanfall to get the game completely up to full 1080p, which is their goal. They, they, they want to get this game to 1080p, and they're just waiting for some patches from Microsoft to do it. So uh, all the rumors going around that it's only going to be in 720p, that's not true. This game will hopefully, it will definitely be at least 792p, and a uh, good chance it's going to be running at native 900p at the launch of the game. And just soon after that, we'll probably be bumped up to 1080p. Which, I mean, really, I don't really, I don't know if it's going to make that much of a difference, because this game already does look incredible. But, I mean, hey, if you can make the game look even better, I'm perfectly happy with that. Um, and uh, one thing I found interesting is the reason they have to uh, wait for Microsoft to do these patches to the Xbox One is because uh, this game is completely reliant on uh, Microsoft's cloud service. So, uh, one of the main guys at Respawn said, Forza used the cloud service a little bit, but weren't as reliant as it on it as we are. Titanfall is completely reliant on the cloud, and if it's down, nobody can play. So, basically, if you don't have an internet connection going to your Xbox One, uh, don't try to play Titanfall or even buy it because it's not going to work. You have to have that internet connection and a decent one because so much is going to be downloaded through the cloud while you're playing the game. And, I mean, I'm okay with that, but, I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that aren't. Um, and lastly, kind of on the same note, uh, there was that uh, special edition uh, Titanfall Xbox One that was saying it, that it required up to 40 gigabytes to install uh, Titanfall as the uh, game and Respawn tweeted out saying that uh, Titanfall would only require 20 gigabytes on Xbox One so I think that's like they're saying it will only require 20 gigabytes at launch like that that first day when you have to you know do the whole big long update install thing I think they're saying that that will be 20 gigabytes, and I imagine that it's going to go up from the 20 as you, um, as they make that move from 792p to 900, and eventually 1080. So I don't, I, I'm not, I'm not, 
I'm a little concerned with file size because uh, Microsoft's going to need to uh, find something in the next year on how to expand the storage on the Xbox One, whether it's uh, making external hard drives or being able to save large amounts of data in the cloud and having it streamed right to your Xbox instantaneously. I don't know what their plans are, but I know they are uh, definitely taking care of that stuff and looking uh, well into the future and planning, so I can't wait for this game. I hope it's going to look amazing in 1080. I mean, even though it already looks incredible in 792p, as you can see here, but I really hope that 1080p makes it look even better, and I can't wait to play more maps and just the entire game. So yeah, if you guys could, please like, favorite, share the video. That would help me out a lot, and maybe even subscribe, and have a nice day.